What is going on guys? It's Tony and Jake from Momo Paintball and today we are going to be doing a shooting comparison between Little Brother versus Big Brother. The die CZR versus the die DSR. Oof. Let's do it. So many R's. So many R's and so many die guns and all sorts of things. So guys, you guys asked for this. Yeah, before I get into that, go to lomopaintball.com. Check out, we have all these amazing products Buy on the it. website, ready to rock and ready to go. So you guys asked, what's the big difference between the Die CZR and the Die DSR? Oh, well, we'll talk a little bit about that and then we're gonna shoot these things so you guys can watch. Um, first off, I'm gonna talk a little bit about mine. Uh, I've got the two piece 14 inch barrel here. I do have the fusion bolt on the inside of the Rye CZR. I do have the newly updated ramp solenoid. Uh, the earlier version had some issues in the past. Now they fixed that with the new ramp solenoid. The only thing I don't like is I've got the macro line attached to my Hyper 3 regulator, but that's not the end of the world because I do have a nice on off down here where you can engage and disengage your air. And this gun only retails around 300 and what, 40 bucks? 350? 325, I think. Okay, starting at 325 and can go up from there depending on what color you want. So and today- we have, price, we have a part swapped colors too. We right do. on the website. 100%. So today I'm gonna be shooting the CZR. Uh, so that's my price point. Couple tips about yours. How much is it? Uh, this, this particular color is 925. This is um, a different anodizing. You can get the all black one for 900. So you can get it for cheaper. I have the arc bolt. It's a little bit different. Um, it's completely toolless to pull it out, so I can pull it out with a little push of a button. Super easy to pull out, very, very reliable, shoots awesome. Uh, as you can see, I have no macro line, so I have the gas through regulator grip. Um, batteries right up here, easy to change out. You do need like a little flathead screwdriver, penny, something to get in there. Um, unlike there is no screws, where that one you have to have the screws to take out. Definitely. Um, so this one's a little bit easier. I also have the on off ASA. Um, works super well, super easy. A um, little bit different of a trigger system. I have the two-piece die ultralight barrel. It is pretty much the same as this one, except uh, I get a different tip, and my uh, my back is exactly the same, but my tip is a little bit different, so I have more porting, so it's supposed to be a little bit quieter and a little bit more accurate. And also, you have an all metal frame where I'm I just do. composite. So. Yeah, this is all aluminum. Um, the composite frames aren't bad though. They make real firearms with com with that same exact kind of composite. Very Glock true. uses it. Um, Ruger uses it. But yep. Yeah. So. Well, all right. So let's uh, let's shoot these bad boys. Let's see the oh. actual difference between um, what six hundred bucks, pretty much. Yeah, and I have an OLED. That one okay. doesn't have an yeah, OLED. Yeah, this one is uh, just. Yeah. Just uh, colors on the on the side of the right. grip here. So, <clears throat> can you stick a red line board in the CZR? No, you can't. No, you cannot do that. So, do you, you want to? You want me to go first and then him, or what are you, what are you doing here? One at a time. So okay. We can see I'll the start. With, we'll start with little boy. Yeah. We'll start with little boy just Tommy. Do, do one hopper each. Yep, that sounds good. Let me load this. Bad we'll boy start up with here. little boy, and then I'll go with Tina. Yeah, and we'll see. Uh, kind of see if we can't get some sound signatures, accuracy. We'll go from there. We are going to be shooting the same paint with stock barrels, Sick. so you can get, you know, other than putting them over a chrono and and go doing all that, you're going to get uh, going to get a fairly good shot here. Uh, no chrono, it's not accurate. Oh, well, I these are bother. both brand new, stock out of the box from the factory at Dive. You know, people are still going to cry. And that's fine. That's it's the internet. Everyone always cries. That's cool. So I I'm going to turn cry. mine on. I think this one's yeah, it's still semi-auto. So. I think it comes, yeah, semi-auto out of the box. So my, my, my die rotor's on. Are you ready, Marcus? I am ready. Okay, where do you want me to shoot? Which one? Uh, you shoot the right circle, and Jake will shoot the left circle when it's that time. Okay, when it's your turn. Okay, I'll okay, shoot the right okay. circle. Boy, for 325, this boy shoots ropes. Yep. That was freaking sick. Yeah, my old finger still got it. This is semi-auto. It makes the noise heavy. And that's it. That's a whole hopper. Uh, die CZR, man. Let's let's see. Let's that's, see what you got. That's freaking sick. All right, I'm going to try to first shot. No look. Well, I am going to look, but I'm going to try to hit my pole first shot with the wind. Oh. You almost... Oh, there, there you go. go. You're in there. Stop. It's 
So I will say, I will say yours is definitely quieter. It is 100% quieter. For sure, but accuracy wise, these things are monsters. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much ball on ball. Yeah, it's, it's nice. And this is just our stock field paint. It's nothing special by any means. And you will notice that not one of these guns broke one single paintball using just intermediate field grade paint and stock barrels. 100%. Yeah, it's not nothing the, broke a paintball. Not, not the greatest paint in the world, but it's not, you know, the worst and it definitely shot for sure. Fine. So I hope this guy, you know, this helps, this video helps you guys figure out like what, you know, do I need to spend the extra 600 or do I want to get into a nice uh, intermediate beginner speedball gun at the 300 and some dollar price point or if you got the money. Obviously, this thing's beautiful as well, so Shoots it's up to money. you guys. They both shoot absolutely great, so. Cool. That's it. Do you have a question, question Dad? I do have a question. He's got a question. All From right, the all YouTubes, right. uh, it's not technically my question. It's uh, MC Kemote's question. Okay. Eat the 2 or Empire Mini? <sighs> I'm going That's with the Eat the 2. I was, yeah. You got a little bit. Probably so the Eat the 2. Two, uh, they're both good it is guns, a little man. Bit, it's a little bit priced, a little bit more. Yeah, a little yeah. bit more expensive. But you get the Gamma Core that comes in the one seventy R. You yeah. got a little bit more space in it. Yeah, probably they, the Ether two, but the GS is a it's a really good gun too. So it's a hundred dollars more. So you're yeah. gonna get a hundred dollars more worth of performance. Out That's of it. fair. There you go. You got a question? Leave it in the comments Shop below. Shoplomopaintball.com. And do that. See ya. Shameless plug, Mark. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. Was it my turn? It was your turn. <laughs>